Neighbors tell me last week bullets came flying across this South Franklinton apartment complex. The gunfire headed right towards that entrance at that apartment complex where kids were sitting on the steps. And witnesses telling me the shooters were two young teenagers. Teenagers, definitely teenagers who were shooting. This mom of six asked not to be identified for her safety as she talked about the gunfire Thursday as kids were getting off the afternoon school bus at Greenwood Village Apartments. They were shooting this building, this mom, this where I live, so yeah, they were shooting at everybody over here. Callers telling 911 dispatchers two teens jumped out of a white car and within seconds started shooting at a group that included children sitting on a front stoop. How many kids were out there? Lots of kids. Okay, who had the gun? They were on the corner shooting right now. One car tire hit by a bullet. Luckily, no one was hurt. The shooters remain on the loose. This apartment complex has seen its fair share of gunfire and killing over the years. Last year, when the complex was known as South Park Apartments, the court ruled the property a nuisance because of unsanitary conditions and a history of crime and violence. We're always in constant communication. We identify when uh, violent instances do occur, you know, which tenants are involved. Since then, the city attorney tells us owners have agreed to everything requested by them, adding more lighting, security cameras that allow police access, license plate readers, and extra security patrols. You're seeing more police? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And more safety procedures? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fixing it up out here. But despite the added layers of protection, this mom says more still is needed to keep her neighborhood safe. See how quiet it is right now? So it ain't gonna be like this this summer. On your side in South Franklinton, Steve Levine, Fox 28 News.